Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kat, and if you're watching this, that means that A, my battery held up, and B, even though I'm showing one, two, because, you know, I went to college, um, I had enough footage to actually show you a video. So, today, um, I think my thrift store is now doing this every single weekend. They run a 50 to 75% off sale based on uh, the color of the tag. So, um, I hope you guys can hear me. The heater is pumping like crazy. It's 19 degrees here in Kansas City, um, which I know for some people is not as cold. Like those of you that live much farther north than Kansas City, that's not that cold. Uh, but our weather here has been so crazy. Two days ago it was 50 degrees. Yesterday it was 35 degrees and today it is 19 degrees right now at 10 till noon. So, let's see, yeah, the high of 23 tomorrow, high of 31, Tuesday, high of 51, Wednesday, high of 48, like, I'm sorry, 58, so it's going to be almost 60 in the next five days. What is happening to the world? I look really, really blonde right now, so it's crazy. So, uh, we are stuck in a stoplight. Because for some reason, everybody and their damn mother is out right now. Um, I live in an area where there's lots of, um, like, shopping and um, restaurants and things. So, lunchtime, it gets kind of busy around here. I can do a quick outfit of the day for you while we're sitting here. So, the hat is from, it's my Mercedes hat, from when I signed for my car two years ago, and now the light's green and I can't show you the rest of my outfit. We're gonna do it anyway because this is definitely not illegal. Uh, I'm wearing my one of my favorite thrifted pieces. This is a terrible idea. Why am I doing this? Don't tell Brett I did this. Um, my favorite Columbia jacket and my favorite polo shirt. And then for those wondering, American Eagle has some killer leggings. That's what I'm wearing. They're like fleece lined, but not fleece lined. They feel like I'm walking around in a blanket on my legs, but like a comfortable, soft, light, breathable blanket. Blanket. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, uh, but I love these leggings. They are so comfortable. And for the record, um, I usually include my measurements in the description below for videos where I show clothing. So those are my measurements as of February 1st. So you can compare. I'm typically right now between a 12 and a 14, depending on the store. I bought the extra large based on the size chart on their website. Those suckers were too big. So uh, luckily I had ordered the large ones from my mother. See, this is just all kinds of things you shouldn't do while you're driving. Just don't take lessons from me, you guys. My lips are so chapped. Um, so... I ordered the large ones for my mom, the extra large for me. So the large were too big on her and the extra large were too big on me. So luckily the largest fit. That is the longest damn story. All I had to say was size down. <laughs> so, and then I'm wearing my uh, black Bailey bow of boots that I just bought that I haven't even put in a haul yet. I don't know, by the time this goes up, you might've already seen them in a haul. I've been wanting these boots for a hot minute. All right, we are a majority of the way there. I am looking for workout gear, Levi's that I can cut off into shorts for the summer. I'm probably gonna buy whatever size I assume I will be and then like use them as gold piece. Um, and then if I don't get into them, I only pay a few dollars for them. Um, and then maybe some bags and always oversized sweatshirts and t-shirts in the men's section. So that's what we're gonna do. I will catch you when we get there.
literally brand new attacks. Laptop case. I mean, I don't need it, and it's kind of really dented, and I don't think my laptop would fit in it, but that's cool. I just met a reseller. This woman started talking to me in an aisle over, over yonder. She resells for a living. She told me she made $10,000 last month and bought herself a house in Cancun. Like, she thought I was one too because I'm wearing, like, a Mercedes hat. Like, she's like, she's pointing to my hat and she's like, are you a hunter? And I was like, what? <laughs> This is super, oh my god, I'm literally Rick rolling, you guys. <laughs> I tried on some pants and I ended up with like three or four pairs, so I'm super excited about it. About to check out, but checking the candles out first. Ooh. There's two cars coming and they are most definitely staring at me, talking to myself on a camera. There's so much sludge on the ground that I was not expecting. I almost got in wreck on the way in here because my, I was trying to stop and this guy was coming, was not paying attention, and I slid. And if he hadn't stopped, I would have hit him. Okay, here we are. Pet the car, let's get inside. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's freaking cold outside. I don't wanna be here, I wanna be in my bed. All right, let's try and not hit any freaking worry. Just people running around. Really quickly, before we get into the haul part, I do wanna address something. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments on my plus size tagged videos that I should not be calling myself plus sized because I am not plus sized. Um, you can take a look at my measurements below. I fit into every plus size store um, that I have been into lately, and I am in a size that has double digits, and I'm not in the lowest double digit size. Um, I know I'm not at the top end of plus size, but I am a plus size woman, so I'm going to continue to do that, or title these videos as such. Um, if you have a problem with it, go watch somebody else. That's fine with me. Um, but I think there are a lot more women, in my opinion, I think there's a lot more women in the in-betweener category than in the very, very high and very, very low end of sizing. So I think there's pr probably quite a few more people in like the eight to 14 range than double zeros or 30-32s. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's why I make these videos and that's why I tag them plus size because technically I am plus size, but technically I'm just in the middle. So if you're an in-betweener like me, I want to do more videos on being an in-betweener. I don't know how else to say it, kind of in-between straight and plus size. So if you want videos like that, leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. Uh, let me know what kind of videos like you'd like to see and let's get on with the haul. Okay, you guys, time for me to show you what I got. Um, I'm going to try on the things that I can try on. Like I said before, um, my measurements are down below in the description, so you can use those to compare to yourself uh, to see if like items would fit you. So let's just start with the pants that I'm not gonna show you because none of them go on my butt successfully, except for one pair. So these are some Not Your Daughter jeans. Uh, they're a legging size 10. They are brand new with tags, apparently from Macy's. Um, I don't know what these cost originally, but my mom has some of their pants. It even has the like thingy. Um, and they're not particularly cheap. These are very stretchy. Um, these were really close to fitting me. So um, it says, recommend washing these jeans before wearing to remove any excess dye. Um, so I'm gonna wash these by themselves. That tells me these are probably gonna run quite a bit. Um, they're literally just like a, a jegging. Um, I can, I just didn't want to like squeeze my butt into them in the dressing room at the thrift store. Um, I think they'll, I, I could probably get these on me to be totally honest. 
I just didn't try too hard. Um, they would be tight, but probably in about 10 pounds, these will fit perfectly, and they are very nice denim. Um, I got two pairs of Calvin Klein jeans. I wanted, like, you know how everybody wears, like, those cut-off Levi jeans in the summer? So I tried on a bunch of different Levi jeans in, like, 17 different sizes, ranging from, like, size 10 um, to, like, or, like, size 30 to size 38. And they were just all over the place. And I think I've come to grips with the fact that I do not think Levi jeans are going to fit my body. So I don't, I don't know what it is, but the shape does, does not fit me. Um, so the best shot I had were actually some Calvin Klein jeans. Um, these fit pretty decently. Like I could not get them all the way up and zipped, but it's mostly like, what I like about them is that they are wide enough in the thigh. It's the butt is a little bit slimmer. The waist is perfect. These are shaped for my body. Big thighs, little waist. That's what I've got going on. Um, so it's just kind of the butt region. If I can get my little butt in there, my little butt, my big butt in there, they will fit me perfectly in the waist. Um, I really like the patch on the back. These were half off. Um, so these were 450. See, these are marked size nine. Um, and these fit pretty decently. These are obviously, I can pretty much tell these were boyfriend jeans. Um, let me see if there's a 32 inch inseam, easy fit jean, sand blast, 100% cotton. These are like really good denim. Oh, and they have, okay, I really liked this. I have a pair of shorts and I'm excited to cut these off eventually. They have the snaps for the crotch um, and they all, have the CK on them. I'm just thinking like over the summer, once I shorten these, and that's the other thing is, um, I feel like when I shorten them into shorts, they will be easier for me to get on. I don't know why, they probably won't be any easier, but um, these are such good quality, and they were not that far off. And if I end up never wearing them, I will just resell them or put them on my Poshmark or give them to my mother, because I'll probably fit her already. Uh, and then I got another pair of Calvin Klein jeans. These are a little bit different, obviously. These, I think, are older. They're in a size 34, straight leg. Let's see. Where's the, what they're made out of? Just says double stone wash, easy fit jeans, size 34. Machine wash, cold. Not sure what these are made of. They are definitely not, they have some spandex in them, I think. They're, they have some stretch, whereas the other ones did not have any stretch and they were much heavier, like typical denim. Uh, these ones are obviously a little different, but I think both pairs are gonna end up being pretty high-waisted and you can tell by the size of the zipper, it's quite a bit longer. Um, it says Calvin Klein right there. I even kind of like that this pocket right here and this area is distressed, you can tell from use. Um, but I like how these Calvin Klein jeans are shaped better than the Levi's. They're smaller in the waist and bigger in the area where I need them to be bigger. So these were half off. I don't even remember what the colors were. It was yellow, white, and orange, but I can't remember what color was what price. Okay, the receipt ended up as a wadded up mess. Okay, orange was half off. Yellow was 75. Oh yeah, they gave me 30% off of my regular priced items and white was half off. So the Not Your Daughter jeans were $9, and that was the half off price. But they're brand new with tags. I spent $44.09. That's all of what was in the first bag. So the second bag, the Campbell's Soup Cup. I just really liked this. Dishwasher safe. I just thought it was cool. I really like big mugs. And I got rid of a lot of my mugs from college for some reason. So we moved in here, I didn't have a lot. Okay, so first shirt, super soft, Columbia shirt, in this navy color, it is an extra large, it, God, it is so, I can't wait to wear this, it's so soft, so soft, uh, this was a whopping $3.50, half off, literally identical shirt in tan, there it is, right there. 
size extra large, obviously probably came from the same person. This one was $2.50. Not sure why. But um, this one had like, there's just a little, one single spot of discoloration. I don't know if you can see that right there. Just a tiny, but I don't even care. I'm probably just gonna sleep in these to be honest or run errands in these. They're so soft and I just wanted them so I picked them up. I also picked up this fun shirt. I'm gonna crop it. I think it'll be cute. Um, maybe it's like a swim cover up in the summer. It was, yellow was 50, 75% off. Is that right? So this, this ended up being 50 cents. I'm glad I picked it up then. Um, it's just this cute little pastel shirt with the little pastel shells on it. It's like a, a Hawaii shirt or whatever you can see, but I'm gonna crop it. And I will crop it for the um, trend portion so you can see it. But I just think it would look really cute. I like the colors and when I get sick of it, I paid 50 cents for it. Who cares, you know what I mean? Okay, really quickly, shirts for the cat because I'm crazy. Um, the green ones were 50 or 30% off, so these were 75-ish cents each. Got this little one, always super sweet, which is a freaking lie. It's a Carter's size nine, that's about what she wears. So I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna take the little, like a, I'll probably sew it over right there and just remove the little snappies. Um, and then I got this one. I know you people think I'm insane. This was also 75 cents. It's got little ice cream cones and popsicles on it. So cute. <laughs> this one's really tiny and I'm wondering if it's gonna fit her and if it doesn't, it's fine. Uh, it was 50 cents, but it's so cute. It's got little kitties on it. This one's a Carter's, oh, koala baby newborn. So, but she, keep in mind, is pretty, she's a pretty small kitten, so. I'm crazy, I know. We all know. Uh, Brett's aunt wanted a Reba McIntyre shirt for a Halloween costume, so I got her this shirt, $4.50. Put that to the side so I don't forget to give that to her. Actually, I'll wash it first. This was the first thing I spotted. I spotted a lot of Victoria's Secret leggings there, but they were like ridiculously overpriced. Especially because they had a lot of like th uh, thigh rub pilling in them. Uh, I didn't even look at that on these, but these look really good actually. These look brand new. These are Spanx. I found some Spanx leggings in extra large. These are the Spanx takes off. I, I have no idea what that means. I'll have to look it up. Um, they were $2.99. And then 30% off of that, so basically like $2 in some odd sense. So they have this big waistband at the top, which I know I'm gonna love. So tummy control waistband, and the fabric feels like, you know what Spanx feel like. But I'm really excited for these. They're really, really nice. They have a little band at the bottom. You can see there's some ribbing. I wish they had stirrups on them because I'm really looking for some stirrup pants. <sighs> I'm an old lady that wants stirrup pants. Last item, we all know I have been living in my Adidas sweatshirt that Brett's mom bought me for Christmas. So <laughs> I had to get this. It's just a nude colored, enormous hoodie. What size is this? Double XL, honestly, it'll probably fit me like a cloth. <laughs> uh, it is a Columbia sweatshirt. I thought I saw a little spot on it. Yeah, there's one little white spot right there I don't know if you can even see that yeah right there and I can't tell if it's a little bleach spot or if I'm gonna be able to get it off but if not I don't care it was uh, $15 $14.98 um, so I got 30% off of that so I got four dollars so it was ten dollars basically it was close to eleven dollars um, but it's just a long hoodie I live in these it has a darker inside of the hood Nude is super in right now. Kind of a lot of people are doing neutral palettes. Obviously, um, I'm not usually one of those people. Okay, just kidding. I totally forgot about this item. It fell out of the bag. Um, it was two dollars, and it was. This is a double XL 
Adidas shirt. I like it because it looks like lightning. It kind of reminds me of the flash, but it's just a long, oh my God, why did I buy this? I did not look it over very well. No, no. It's on the back. It's okay, it was only $2. Honestly, I could even like, I could crop this or I could just leave it because I'm lazy. So it's just really soft and for $2, I was like, mine. All right, you guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, if you want more thrifting with me videos, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and become a Warrior Crew member if you haven't yet. And I'll catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.